been told to bring my swimming shorts. Well, the cavalry have arrived. What have I let myself in for? Kev, you're taking this far too seriously, man. <laughs> Mark 1 Escort Twin Cam, 2.8 injection Capri, Mark 1 1600 G2, Jinky Twinto, Series 1 RS Turbo, Crayford Cortina, check this thing out. I'll be happy with that. Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Marcus Hayes and today is set to be a pretty awesome day. Forecast to be an absolute scorcher today. And we're riding in Roger, Cat's new plastic Ford Fiesta. It's currently 20 past eight in the morning and seeing as we're up so early, we're gonna visit somewhere where I haven't actually been much lately and start the day the right way with a McDonald's breakfast. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was actually planning to bring Maud out today, but her front passenger side wheel bearing is getting really, really loud. Next stop is Inky's Autos, which is owned by my friend Danny Inkpen and I think it's his birthday today. Now, those of you that have been watching my videos a while will remember that exactly one year ago, I went to a car auction with Inky and a lot of the rest of the West London Classic Ford crew. And today, we're going to that same auction again. Last time, we saw loads of exotic cars as well as some Classic Fords, and we even saw Chris Evans there. I definitely won't be putting any bids in myself, but I'm looking forward to seeing what cars are going under the hammer at the auction. And on a bit of a side note, I've been told to bring my swimming shorts. All right, so we've made it to Inky's Autos. As usual, plenty of interesting stuff going on down here. Over here, we've got the front end of a five-door Mark III Escort, and that is actually part of a project that Inky's working on for himself. And the rest of that project is in the fab barn. So yeah, Inky's basically building himself a rear wheel drive Mark III Escort van. Down here, he's been working on sort of making a custom chassis. And once he's finished that, they're gonna drop the shell of the van and the front end that I just showed you onto the custom chassis. Inky's just pulling out his super cool P100 rat rod, which I assume is coming with us to the auction today. In the workshop on the ramp, we've actually got this Mark II Escort RS2000, which actually belongs to the guy that's running the auction today. Inky's been working on this for quite a while. It has been away from here for about a year while the paintwork was getting done, but yeah, now it's back to be reassembled. As you can see, it's absolutely mint. Really, really smart. I think that's Riviera Blue. Might be wrong. Super clean, really, really nice. And we've got this Capri underneath the ramp that Inky's been working on. He's already put an alloy radiator in it and it actually came in for a new headliner. Hence, the windscreen has been removed. But after an inspection, Inky found some rust on the chassis. So it looks like this one's gonna be getting a bit of welding work. Well, the cavalry have arrived. Paul's just turned up in this super clean black two-door Mark I Escort. He actually owns a black Mark I Escort himself. Sibby spotlights on the front. Really, really smart interior. Not sure what seats these are, but they are pretty smart and apparently quite rare. Half cage in the back. Oh, that's a really smart Mark One. Apparently the owner does upholstery and refurbs wheels. And Kev has brought out his award-winning cosy powered Mark One Escort in the best color. And if you watched the video last year, I actually went for a passenger ride in this car. Absolutely love seeing this thing. Really, really smart interior. Check out the Mark II Fiesta sitting on pepper pot alloys, running a 1.8 Z-Tec on bike carbs. Very, very. Yeah, this Fiesta's actually got like the rear panels from a van in there. That's pretty cool. And a nice rear cage as well. Behind the Fiesta, we've got this roof chopped 100E Anglia. Really like these sun visor things. Really, really smart. Love the color of this thing as well. And that Anglia actually has a Capri V6 fitted, if I remember rightly. And behind that, we've got this yellow RS2000 Mark II. Check out the fishnet Recaros. Not sure if that's signal yellow or not. I think everyone's gonna be ready to leave here soon and head down to the auction. Right, 
Right, so off we go to the auction. I'm gonna leave some links in the description of this video to Inky's Autos. If you're anywhere near West Strayton and you need a decent mechanic, definitely give him a shout. And he's really knowledgeable with classic Fords as well as all your regular modern stuff. There's always one that don't fill up the day sorry, before. Sorry, my bad. My bad. <laughs> So everyone made it. Got our own dedicated parking spot. The guys are actually setting up a gazebo and we're going to be actually having a barbecue here today. Kev's got his engine bay open. Such a tidy install. All right, so we're all signed in for the water park. Inky's cracking on with the burgers on the barbecue. If you're going to drown, you might as well do it on a full stomach. <laughs> mm. Been told to get the swimming gear now. What have I let myself in for? How am I supposed to drown with this thing on? Kev, you're taking this far too seriously, man. Yeah, yeah, man. You've got to be safe, mate. <laughs> got to be safe, he says. Have you seen his driving? That was loads of fun. Hopefully Kat got some decent clips of us being children. But now I think it's time we're going to check out some cars at the auction. Looks like Kev's doing the off. Take it easy, Kev. See you later, Tone. Really? We don't have to pay, we're with Inky. Oh my God, look at this place. Where do we start? Check out the really tasty Aston Martin. Proper cool number plate on it as well. Bit of you, Kat. Alfa Romeo, Jaguar XJS convertible, V12, and another XJS convertible, BMW 635 CSI, BBS rims, really nice MGA, what a beautiful car, BMW 2002 convertible, do love a classic Mini, this one's a Mayfair, Mark One Escort twin cam, Check out that beautiful Lotus twin cam engine. This car used to be white. Check out the modified Mark 1 Golf. All stripped out, full roll cage, Cobra bucket seat. Proper cool. Really cool. 2.8 injection Capri. 89 warranty. Check out this pair of old Ferraris. Got another Capri over here. This one's a Mark 1 1600 GT. Hence the 1600 crossflow in the bay. Another one for you, Cat. Fiat 500. Chinky Twento. Series 1 RS Turbo. Although Paul was telling me there's a couple of things that ain't right with this. He owns one himself. What's wrong with it, Paul? Non factory sunroof. Non factory sunroof. Wrong stereo. Yeah. Wrong gear knob. Yeah. Probably still go for about 30 grand. <laughs> Your one hasn't got all them things wrong with it then, no? No, just been de <laughs> Another old Ferrari. Ain't got a clue what it's called. Reading 59. Very unusual. Such a wide array of cars here. Another BMW 635 CSI. Although this one is just a body shell. Looks like it's in red oxide. It does say on the right up there that it's got all the parts that are needed to put it back together. And over here, we've got another BMW 2002 convertible in the same colour as the one we saw before, but this one is in need of restoration. Headlining's hanging down. Got a couple of unfinished Mercedes convertibles here. I don't know what they are, but I think they're the same model. Really cool Morris Minor. 
This old convertible seems to be called a Riley, whatever they are. And this old convertible seems to be called a JBA. A Mark II Crayford Cortina. And if I understand it rightly, Crayford was a company that basically turned Cortinas and loads of other cars into convertibles. TVR Tremera, old school Porsche 911, Ford Thunderbird, obviously with a V8 in the bay. Uh, old Bentley in this corner, and next to it, an old Rolls Royce. Coming out of the tent, we've got this mini mini, <laughs> little noddy car. Oh, that is awesome. Got a couple of old voxels here. I think it's called a VX 490. That's what this one says on the wing. This one looks like a bit of a rally car. And this one looks like a bit of a abandoned project. Check out the GT350 Mustang. Love the red and cream leather interior. That's so nice. Old school turbo 911 Porsche. Really nice brown interior, which is a good contrast against the beige paintwork. Ferrari Testarossa. Although I'm way more interested in the Mark II Escort RS2000 next to it. Check this thing out. I think that's uh, midnight blue. Quite a sought after colour. Quite an original looking car. Loving the tan, would you call that, interior. With the iconic fishnet Recaro seats. That is awesome. Mine? I'll be happy with that. Although if I owned this, I'd probably sell it and buy a couple of them. <laughs> yeah, struggling to decide if my favourite car here so far is the Twin Cam Mark 1 or Midnight Blue Mark 2. Check out the Audi Quattro Rally Legend. Awesome car. All these old cars look so cool parked next to each other. This one here is a Ford. Is it a Model Y? I might be wrong. Is that it? It's really cool how all the old cars have got a note on the dash to say how to start them. This one says, turn the key, don't use the choke, or move any lever. <laughs> uh, this tent is where the auction's actually happening. Got some really tasty cars in there. Here we've got a convertible Shelby GT350 Mustang. We're going to head back to our little parking area now but yeah, it's so cool to have a look around such a wide array of cool cars the mark 1 escort twin cam went for about forty-eight thousand pounds i think it was but yeah i don't think the mark 2 rs2000 has gone under the hammer yet check out this really mad specced x6m and the dubai number plate crazy spec man <laughs> All right, so Inky's P100 is the only cool old Ford left here now. Although this one has a cool engine in it. Anyway, we're gonna help the guys pack up and then get out of here. Thanks for an awesome day. Inky, happy birthday for tomorrow. Thank you very much. I'm sure I'll see you at uh, another car meet soon. Yeah. Just let me know when you scrap this so I can have the engine. Yeah? <laughs> What an awesome day that was. It was so cool checking out all the cars that were going under the hammer at the auction today. Really glad that there were so many old school Fords to check out, especially the Mark I and the Mark II Escort. Definitely got some aches and pains in my legs after our little adventure on the lake earlier. But yeah, really glad that Inky arranged that for us. So yeah, massive thanks again to Inky and the rest of the West London Classic Ford crew for inviting me and Kat along today. I had an epic day. Don't forget, if you need any work done on your car and you're anywhere near West Drayton, which is near Uxbridge, definitely check out Inky's Autos. I'll leave links in the description 
to Inky's Facebook page and also the West London Classic Ford page. Now Inky's actually going to be helping me out with a couple of jobs on Maud, my Maud or Mark II Escort next weekend and you'll probably see that in the next video. But for now I'm going to end this video here. If you did think it was any good please do give it a thumbs up and a share. If you didn't give it a thumbs down. Click subscribe to keep up to date with all my future uploads and check the links in the description to my social media and my website. I'll also leave my email address down there for anyone who wants to contact me. Massive thanks to each and every one of you for your continued support on my channel. But other than that, until next time, from me and my beautiful girlfriend Kat, thanks for watching.